Hi, my name is Mark Renz. I'm with the University of Wisconsin Extension, and I'm here to talk to you today about how to identify wild parsnip, an invasive plant that's restricted in Wisconsin. Uh, wild parsnip is very common throughout Wisconsin. It's relatively easy to distinguish and really can invade a lot of different habitats. The primary concern of it are in full sun environments, in grassland areas along roadsides as we see here, and even into prairies and other full sun situations. I'm wearing gloves because this plant does have phytophotodermatitis. If you get the sap on your skin and it's sunny of the plant, you can get very uh, damaging burns on your skin. This plant is relatively easy to identify because it has distinct leaves uh, that are pinnately compound that come in at least pairs of five leaflets at a minimum uh, up to 15. Rosettes will look exactly the same as will uh, leaves that are on the flowering plant, although the leaves will get smaller. There are some native plants that can be confused. Those leaflets tend to be two to three and tend to be not as sharply toothed as the wild parsnip. Uh, looking at the stem, it is deeply ridged. That's a really good key characteristic on this plant that very few other plants have, um, even in the carrot family. Uh, very key characteristic to help identify this plant. When the plant flowers, it does have an umbel-shaped flower, typical of the carrot family, but it is a yellow, flat-headed, umbel-shaped inflorescence, which is, again, very distinct, very unique. As we see here, these plants are just starting to flower. They will continue to flower throughout much of the, the middle of the summer. Wild parsnip is a biennial to a monocarpic perennial, very easy to identify with the leaflets that have 5 to 15 leaflets on a leaf, the groove stem, and the yellow, umbel-shaped inflorescence on top. That's it. Happy weeding and good luck.